Oh my god, I swear this is like the cringiest thing I've ever seen. Like, I can barely watch it. I can barely finish watching this whole video. I have like embarrassment from watching it. I'm not even in there. And it's just like secondhand embarrassment from watching how he interacts with this person. Like, why? Why would you act like this? Who acts like this around people? What's going on, you desperate crusaders? Crusader Actual here. Today, I'm not covering Amber Lynn Reed. Today, I'm gonna be covering Skippy. I know I've been saying it for a while, but I finally found a good Skippy video to react to, and whew, let me tell you, this one's, a, this one's a doozy. So it's gonna be a long video, I'll tell you right now. Uh, it's probably gonna be over an hour long. I'm covering two videos. It's a two-part series uh, for Skippy. It's called The Date of Mormons, which I'm assuming is a play on the, well, the play of, uh, a Book of Mormons. So if you remember from my last Skippy video, Skippy took a girl on a date called Tracy. Uh, for some reason, she's a glutton for punishment and has agreed to go on a uh, another date with him uh, to see this play called A Book of Mormons. You know, and as you can imagine, uh, Skippy didn't learn a damn thing with how to treat uh, people or treat women in particular uh, if you're trying to uh, court them. Uh, so it gets bad. It, it gets really bad. Like, really bad it's bad so we're gonna jump right in but first let me give a special thanks to all my noble knights uh listed right here we got skull cap smallest dab thirsty mango essler canceler i hope that's right jennifer carl lilith b rivers penny royalties honey and elizabeth w if you're interested in uh joining my member program it's only two dollars and 99 cents us dollars a month and you get early access to videos you get access to badges and emojis and everything since i premiere on my videos so if you're interested in that please feel free to check that out or don't and then i'll hate you also if you're a fan of the content you know feel free to subscribe to the video it's absolutely free also i thought people lied when they said this i thought people lied when they said that youtube will like unsubscribe you from channels but it is a hundred percent true like i've had people tell me that they randomly were unsubscribed from my channel so check it out and see or don't all right guys with all that being said let's get into this video Okay, so it's getting near the time when I'm going to leave and go pick up Tracy, and, uh... I, I still don't know why this girl agreed to do another one. Like, maybe it's because it's, like, a nice event. I, I don't know. Maybe she just wants the date, or maybe she just feels bad for him. I don't know. But I certainly would not after the first, the first date. Just got a couple things left to do. Gotta throw on the tie, get the suit coat on, do the hair, brush the teeth. Uh, so, anyways, uh... Starting this up, excited. Tonight's the Book of Mormon night. Oh my god, just the way he looks at the camera while he's brushing his teeth, holy shit. Oh my god, it's so intense. So intense. Look at that, look at that death stare. Okay. Toothbrush complete. Thank god, dude. At least he brushes his teeth. It's a big win. Thinning a little bit, but it's still pretty thick. It's still pretty nice. Yeah, I think Skippy, oh man, I, I, I don't know his exact age in that. I want to say he's in his older 30s here, maybe. This was in 2019. This was one month after the first date he had or filmed with Tracy. It has a lot of volume. Okay, but yeah, I mean, naturally, sometimes your hair thins out as you get older, so I would assume that she's not that shallow of a person. Not quite like Skippy is. Skippy is only cares about looks. He doesn't really care about if you actually get along and have things in, interest, like, things in common with each other and stuff like that. As we'll see in this video, he's very much a uh, all about physical stuff. That's all he cares about, and he assumes that that's all that uh, other people care about, too. It's not just for her. Good in public. How's that look? Pretty good? Okay, that's about as close as I'll get to having it done. Time to go throw on the tie of the suit and go. Okay. Ooh, that's tight. Ooh, that's tight. Kind of chubby, and so I've got a. <laughs> that's kind of tight, but. If I was thinner, I'd have more room in the neck, but I'm not. Oh. 
Looks pretty decent. There it is. Glasses. Okay, I think it's time to hit the road. There's a concert going on, and I'm not sure what concert that is, but uh, yeah, uh, I got to park pretty close to her place, and uh, yeah, just walk over. So, what's the concert going on? It's what? Chris. Okay, Chris Brown, right on. He's like, who's Chris Brown? So there's a Chris Brown concert going on, and. Uh, the Book of Mormon. <laughs> Look at this guy behind him. <laughs> He's just smiling. Play, He's like, please get me out of here. <laughs> Let's see. So this is my suit attire. There you go, Skippy. It's a so good tie. Her, it's a little know. long. It's a good tie, no, though. I would meet her in the same place as last time. I don't know, I was always told that the tie needs to end, like, right at the belt. And we're going out to eat, I think, to make sure that uh, I know that we're just friends. I think we're going either Dutch or she's paying for dinner, possibly. Cause she probably she probably doesn't want to hear Skippy bitch about the prices of like things because if you remember from my last video I did of him he was like yeah we're gonna go on a date to the thrift store I used to work at because I get a discount there like he hates spending a lot of money on things which yeah that's a pretty good sign that we're just friends last time this is where it says on YouTube search thrift store groupie part one so yeah it's the same girl like I said Tracy. Hey, there she is. It looks like uh, she's. she said she'll be about another 10 minutes. Which... Wait, so did he stop at the... Wait, hold on. So he stopped at like her place and then just went... What? He went to the place then because she said she's going to be late. Good. Better for her to be running late than me. And <laughs> even then, we're not running late late. And who knows whether or not we'll be eating afterwards or what we'll be doing afterwards. Man, if you're already thinking about that stuff, like, you're already lost. Like, you're putting too much pressure on yourself and too much pressure on the date as a whole. If you're already thinking of, like, oh, God, like, what's going to happen next? What are we doing after? Are we going to do this? Are we going to do that? Are we going to, like, just go with the flow. Like, enjoy the evening. Don't put so much pressure on it. Or if there will be an afterwards, or if it's just going to be walking her straight back here. Who knows? Um, oh. One thing, I got some gum this time, uh, or I got some mints this time, because even though I'm chewing gum now, several of you said that my chewing gum got pretty annoying, so <laughs> I brought mints. Although I've got a cavity, and so Ew. Uh, with the cavity, I've got dad breath from the- Dad breath? Uh, dead tooth kind of smell. Ew, what? Oh, gross. Wait, why is that dad breath, though, if it's from a dead tooth? That's not just dad breath. Like, everyone can get that. So, to overcome that and to not gross her out with my breath, and besides, I've got breath mints, you know, because you never know if this is a date or a hangout. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, of course, because Skippy's got to get his fucking kiss that he always bitches about. And, uh, yeah, on the chance that it's more of a date and there's a chance that I might get close enough to give her an actual kiss. I have both gum and mints. Plus it gives her an option so I can say, hey, would you like a mint or, oh, and maybe she'll take the, would you like some mint as a, hmm. This, my this is so psychotic. Like doing this is so weird to me. Like it says here, tapping your lip, the universal recognized sign for put your lips here. That's so fucking weird though. Would you kiss someone that just looked at you and did this? Like, would you do that? I fucking would not. That's so, I don't know, that creeps me out. And he does this routinely, and that's why I make a big deal of it, because he always does this. He's always just like, he's done it on a date before. He's looked at a girl and just like tapped his lips like a fucking weirdo. But who knows, we'll see. All right. He talks about getting kissed like he's a fucking 12 year old in high, sc <laughs> high school. <laughs> A 12 year old in middle school, dude. Like, never had a kiss before, like, freaking out about it. That killed two minutes. Eight more minutes to go until she gets here. Dude. Okay, so she just texted and said that we're going to 
uh, go eat at Bar George. And um, she just messaged and said, uh, sorry I'm so late, hope it's worth the wait. Not that I want to be late, but you can't text things like that to Skippy. He's going to, like, overanalyze every little thing you say. He's going to get real deep about it now, I'm sure. stress about this. I want this to uh, be enjoyable for us both, and me freaking out about the timing on this is not going to help anyone. Oh, you can see. Bar well, at least he recognizes that. George. No. So, yeah, playing it cool. Um... Yeah. Oh, there she is. I can see her. She'll be coming in, so I'm going to get this pin so you can see her. Oh my god, dude, the shaky hands. So I'm not gonna harass him too much about the shaky hands, because I know, I think he said it's like something he has, so he might not be able to control it, but I'm sure when he's nervous it does not help it either. It probably makes it a lot worse. Look at that camera. Sorry about that. Here she comes any second. There she is. That's Tracy. You remember Tracy? She walks in and is like, oh god, he's already filming. Like, please. Hi, Tracy. Hi. How do you do? You smell nice. You look great. How about I get up and give you a hug? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Is this a friendship hug or a date hug? I don't, it's a cringe hug is what it is. This is pretty cringe. Some Paisley action. Paisley and uh, yeah, you put football. that shit out. Oh uh, my gosh, actually. Yeah, I think, yeah. I, I think we got matching ties. And uh, yeah. Who are they talking to? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just some random person? Like, look at his tie. Look at it. Yeah, Paisley oh, with okay. some uh, with splash of color. She looks great. I'm. Yeah, she's like, sorry that I'm late. The random person that they're talking to is just like, why? Why are you telling me all this? I don't care. Leave me alone. I hope it's worth the wait. Yes, definitely worth the wait. Oh my god, we're gonna do this. We're gonna film the whole dinner. Uh, wherever I am. Yeah. Here from a local Okay, yeah. So, like, I live in Michigan. I went to all the local breweries. What town were you in in Michigan? Um, I lived in Grand Rapids. Just to go with it. Oh, that's okay. So I want y'all to pay attention to something because I'm gonna bring it up a lot, and he's going to do it a lot. But it's like incredibly frustrating to me because I hate when people do this. Whenever he asks a question, like, which is great. It's great that he asks questions. I think that's a good move. But the second they answer, or the second they start talking, the second she answers, or the second she starts talking, he just immediately interrupts her and will like talk over her, or talk to the camera. Something like really like kind of asshole-ish. They would be pretty disrespectful like if you're actually trying to court someone or like show interest in someone to act like that. That's right, because to go along with the theme- Like right here. I guess it's not the theme, but uh- And she'll show it in her body language too that she's like clearly frustrated, but I think she, she seems smart. She seems like she understands who Skippy is and I don't know her reason for going on these dates with him because she calls it a date. I don't know her reasoning behind it. If she's just trying to help him and teach him, which I think is my uh is the answer i leaning i lean towards but you can tell she gets frustrated though i served my mormon mission in michigan and you were in grand rapids for what uh almost a year for, what were you doing Five year. What were you uh doing originally i had to go to law school but you're going to law school now that uh oh, i'm not sorry, sorry you guys no. should we split the back of the baked mac and cheese I I was told that that's kind that's of really plentiful. Good. It is. Yeah. Yes. Uh, better with the ham or without? Or, I would say with. I like it with. Yeah. I, I need some yeah. protein. I need some protein. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're ripped. <laughs> You're ripped. This waitress is just like, oh. Uh, telling her how good looking and fit she is probably isn't earning me extra points, but it's true. Oh. She's like, why would you say that? Seriously, her like, muscles are... Okay. Um... He just looks at the camera, what he says? Like, seriously, her muscles are, and then just trailed off. Alright, dude, that's oh, enough. I uh, this is part one of our... Of what will be a two-part video, and... Let's be honest, it's probably gonna be three parts. Is it? 
I don't know the way you edit. You even edit this Oh, he's almost as bad as Amberlynn Reed. Doesn't really edit. I, I, I do edit some. I do edit a little he's bit. He's going to edit that there. one out. No. I probably won't, especially because you, you pointed won't. out to the thing. It, it, you know what? One of the main things uh, that will determine how much I edit is how well you can hear the music going on behind us because uh, there's a chance, like, at some point I want to make my YouTube channel uh, monetizable, right? Oh, he doesn't. He's not even monetized yet in this. Okay. Uh, make money off of my YouTube channel, and uh, and they take the money away from you, depending upon uh, what, like if music is. Yeah, yeah. Depending on copyright. Yes, that's all you had to say. You look so good, by the way. You really do. You look so nice. I like your necklace, and then your maroon shoes. And then Huh? Thrift Thrifted shoes? Thrifted dress. Thrifted bag. Thrifted everything? This was paid for in Mexico from, from uh, Navajo. A Navajo woman gave it to you? Uh, I paid for it. Oh, but you bought it off a Navajo woman? Yeah. Does it, have like a, does it have a blessing that goes with it or something? What? <laughs> uh, no, I just consider, I mean, art, all art. I think it's kind of sacred. Sure. Oh my god. <laughs> I know, Thank right? You. You're welcome. Yeah. So I've got the big mac and cheese on the way. Okay, and then, is this a shrimp cocktail? Okay, yeah, no problem. Do you want to hang on to a menu, or are you no. good? I'm good. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you. I assume that at the end of the... So, uh, at the end of our... The fact that he just, like, keeps talking to the camera is, like, still, like, oh, my God, Last come on. I accidentally left a uh, bag that had shoes and the orange shirt in it and so she has that it's been in my bedroom so that was intentional if you remember from the last video and i'm gonna keep bringing it up like like seriously check it out he bought this orange shirt at the thrift store because she likes the color orange i think was the reasoning behind it and his whole plan was to get her to take it home because he, he wanted to buy it for her he could he can wear it but it was something that she would like. And he basically forced her to take it home with him because he wanted the smell of her like on the shirt so he could like sleep with it or wear it and just like smell her basically. Like, I'm, I'm serious. I'm not even like over exaggerating. Wait yeah. for Skippy because a lot of stuff happened. Yeah, okay, okay, yeah. But she's been matters. dying to get me up to her Wait. bedroom to uh, Oh my God, dude, such a, f the social cues, like there's some funny jokes like, if they were super comfortable with each other, this wasn't a second date. That might have been, like, a funny, like, little joke. But, oh, my God, that was so awkward. And she, like, immediately cut him off. And then, uh, I sleep. See? See? Like, he just, like, cuts her off and keeps talking. And she's, like, clearly frustrated about it. Night on the pillow that you almost ended bought. up not getting. The pillow I almost I, bought. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, where does it, where, where, it, yeah, your neck? Yeah, it, like it's, it feels... Where else do you put pillows? Oh, because, okay. Some people are pillow humpers, but not me. Thank you, Skippy. Thank you for clarifying that. For some reason, I doubt it, but... It's like, uh, not, I'm not going to go as far as to say it feels like we're sleeping together. But you what? It feels like a little part of you is there. Oh, the why? Next to me because or supporting me. Almost bought yeah, guy. yeah. I think about How does she tolerate this? I would not be able to. If someone was this like creepy with me that I didn't really know that well. Oh. Yeah, no. So you think about I think well, about maybe you just think about me. I think about you, David. Yeah. But maybe not the like I am that pillow. That's a little bit creepy. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, no, he definitely thinks you are that pillow. No, well no, I I certainly don't hold on to that pillow as tenderly as I would you were you in the Sweet. bed. I'm trying to cheers you. She, <laughs> she had to cut him off. Like this is this is too much. Let's just do a cheers. Oh, cheers. You did beforehand. Cheers. No, because we were talking. Uh, what's the uh salute? Salute. Do, do you have a? Uh, or you can say salute. Yeah, but, but do you have or, like a a do you toast to any? God damn, dude! Just like still cutting her off. How do you say cheers in different language? I know prost. That's a big one. I think that's more like German, Polish, maybe. Okay. 
And that's where the art, the art that comes from this weird act. And I'm going to throw in to Janine and Justin Burkhart. Who the fuck? Who are these people? Uh, who are helping make this awesome date possible. Oh, okay. I know my dumb head's covering up Skippy's face, but when Skippy smiles, it's so scary. So, uh... Skippy's up. Skippy's up. <laughs> if you want to be fancy, hold your pinky higher. That's just fancy talk. If you want to be fancy, hold your pinky up like this. The higher you hold it, the fancier you are. How's that? Higher. Like that? Now that's fancy! Just inwardly, I'm going to be saying a prayer over the food. Outwardly, no, we're not, not going to be blessing this food. Did, what did your family really do growing up? Did you really pray when you went out to eat? Okay, so I think, okay, so some background too, again, from the last video. She used to be Mormon, and I think she left the practice for her own personal reasons. And I think she's trying to get Skippy, I think it's part of her goal to get Skippy to go away from Mormonism as well. So they argue about it all the time, which is, like, I don't know. On dates, I would not bring up sensitive topics like religion or politics, at least right off the bat. Like, maybe for a later time. Again, those things aren't, like, I don't care. You know, those aren't the things that bother me. But for some people, right, it's a deal breaker. But I, I just don't know if I would bring it up on, like, a first or second date. I would probably wait a little bit. I swear, I swear to you, we did, I want to say... About 50, about 50% of the time. I know how to make mac cheese with my grandma. No way. Uh, grandma Betty Jo? Mm -hmm. Betty Jo, no, taught me how to make brews. Like cheese sauces. Just stir them a lot. Betty Jo, her grandma, may she rest in peace. Betty Jo! Passed away, yeah. uh, what was it? Well, since our last day. Yeah. Flirting with Tracy. Look it up. I love that she's plugging uh, our other videos. You gotta get those views. That's from that. What about the Mormon belief? Uh oh. Do you think is the standard? Do you kind of like have a little extra spin on in some way? Because you know how like there's a lot of things left up to the imagination. Like mm -hmm. what do you imagine? Like the afterlife is actually like based on. Oh, this is a loaded question. That's a great question. I was trying to establish some very basic tenets in my church so that if I said something very specific, I wouldn't alienate everyone that didn't grow up like Tracy and I did. A number of things that the brethren, meaning... Okay, so she's asking about, you know, the afterlife, stuff like that. Let's see what his answer is. I can tell you he's going to give a non-answer. Um, for people that don't know the Mormon church, the 12 apostles that were in the time of Jesus is what we have in the Mormon church. And also she asked the question, not the fucking camera. Um, when uh, Jesus called... I'm going to uh, take over for you. Dude, go. Like, no go. Go. Yeah, I mean, he said a whole lot of nothing. He just started talking about the brethren, the apostles, the G Like, what? That didn't even answer the question. What's exactly it do? What's are you it trying do? to explain? <laughs> what the, what what the brethren... What the leadership of the church she's already about. like done and then what we don't know right there's gaps in between right so so what are you trying to explain you there asked you asked what the uh, what your question was yeah and it's he doesn't even know the question because he wasn't paying attention because he never listens to her and he always talks over her he says i disagree that i'm avoiding her question but she's right i'm definitely all over the place but that's how i always am no it's just because you don't fucking listen to people yeah, like what, and so in the gaps of what they You're not asking has, a question, you're avoiding it. My belief system <laughs> is definitely open enough to say that not everything that, uh, that the majority of Mormons believe is right and dead on. Okay, right? Right. Uh, do yeah. I Do I think that enough of it is that that I, yeah, enough of it's true that I continue to be Mormon, right? Do you not want to, like, talk about things that you have outside of the view of the 
No, I I don't mind. I think that there's a, I think that there's a lot of so you can't things that we don't know. Pop into your brain when I ask that question. Uh, I mean, no, specifically, so, you're talking around it. Okay, well, <laughs> she's just <laughs> she's just destroying this poor man. <laughs> I also want to say it the right way. I mean, she's like trained to be a lawyer, so I feel like she's just trying. She's trying out what she's being taught. <laughs> I'm not a very good listener. Well, you're not responding. You're not giving me... You're not exactly. She just said, you're not a very good listener. No, I... I want to be careful with what I say, right? In Why? The, because you're scared? Because no. you're scared of retribution? <laughs> no, because... No, no, it's more for uh, people that aren't... More. Retribution from the church is not something I think about. If I dislike my ward members or even my bishop, I can move or just not go to church. They don't stop me. I stop me. I, 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 I don't know to, anything about Mormonism. Uh, no, it's perfect. They should know that, too. Yeah, but people on YouTube uh, jump all over your ass for a bunch of... Oh, he's all scared of <laughs> how people on YouTube will, uh, will respond to what he's saying. Uh, so going to the back of your mind, you just said the A word. Yeah. One of my professors said to me... What were you like in high school, academically? You're, you're too smart to be a cop. Really? One of my professors, who was a DEA agent, Curtis Fillmore. Oh, I love that man. Shout out to Curtis Fillmore. <laughs> Thanks, Curtis Gilmore. And where was this at? This is at Utah Valley University. Oh, that's right. So I was president of Law Society for two semesters. And we is, that where you got, your work. is that where you got to know our friends Dave, Iba, and... No, Dave contacted me through seeing me on your Instagram. You know what? Did you know Jared Jack Waters beforehand? Um, from the pro scene, somehow we had made correspondence. I think over my made phone, correspondence. Like, She's trying so hard to sound really smart. I don't know. That's no one talks like that. I don't talk like that. I have a pretty professional career, and I don't talk like that. Are in several uh, spots in promo over the years, mm -hmm. and uh, there's a kitty up here. Shout out to Dave and <laughs> Jared, who I went. Look at this little that little tail. Grayson's up on my table right now, just wandering around the computer. So. You're paying for this because, or probably because she didn't want to hear Skippy complain about the prices of everything. You did offer. Oh, um, a couple of people wanted to uh, know. Do you consider this to be a date? Oh my God, dude! He wanted to know. Just say that you want to know. Not a couple of people want to know. Is uh, I would say yes. This is a date for us. Yes. We're dressed formally. We, even though we are friends, even though we are friends, it is. The it's a date, but we are friends. Skippy lost his shit when she said it was a date. He's like stumbling all over himself now. <laughs> We're going to an event. This is me and you. Mm -hmm. Drinks have been served. Drinks have been. She's so frank mm -hmm. about everything. It's kind of funny. Okay, he's freaking out because he's like confirmation. This is a date, is what the text says. But like, she she said it twice that they're friends. They are friends. They're friends. Cheers to a third date. We're going to need to have to get there uh, pretty fast, so uh, we're probably going to have to take uh, the. Uh oh, he's stressed out. And either that or get a bike taxi. Some scooters here. Looks like we'll be jumping on some scooters. Okay. Man, I wish it's gonna suck because I won't be able to uh, record well, and drive the walking, scooter right? at the same time. Let's do that. Let's just keep walking. You sure? We're there. We could do it if we really want to. And if we run to bike taxi on the way, okay, so it's gonna be on this side anyway. Right? Huh? Over yeah, here? So we'll just go right now. Should we? Okay. She's just totally controlling the situation. Skippy doesn't do anything. Uh oh. We'll hopefully get like a little bike taxi guy. I've never if we can... a bike taxi. Me neither. Okay, so Ryan saved our buns and. We're here literally at one minute two. Yeah. 
good. <laughs> You're the you man. are a hero. <laughs> Was it uh, Ryan, right? Ryan Pedicab. Ryan, Ryan. Pedicab. Okay, uh, I'm so getting. Do I have your permission to have uh, no. filmed you? No, I'm just kidding. Yes. Okay, bless your heart. Thanks, man, for uh, saving us. Be able to contact him. Look up. I am Skippy. Oh yeah, I am Skippy. All my stuff is that I am Skippy. What kind of stuff do you like? Yeah. She's now letting him know that. I'm Damn, she's just roasting Skippy to this random guy. <laughs> like four -year -old version. Okay, we're running inside right now. There's a metal detector. Okay, thank you, Ryan. Oh my God. I get here and one of the people that's here at the counter is Heidi. She is uh, one of my Sundance friends. Uh, we'll call him for Scott Jessup. Yep. Right. You look amazing. Look at that. Oh god, dude, that dude is totally hitting on her. <laughs> Just in front of Skippy. Perfect, thank you. There you go. Stay this on this side. By the way, Tracy, Heidi, Heidi, Tracy. Oh my god, why are you doing this now? There's like a million people checking in. This woman probably doesn't give a shit right now. She's just trying to do her job. I'm actually friends with her. She and I chill at Sundance. Up three flights, we're on our way. God. That really stressed me out. So, tier three. We're going up to the third we tier. Have the whole we got here just in time. Ourselves. We just even heard as we were uh, getting here the, uh, the final the chiming everyone, of the bells. Final chiming of the bells. Get everyone inside that needs to uh, because there's a hold at the top of the show. Mm -hmm. that's, okay. a big that, that's a big pocket. Okay. Alright. Here we go. Hi, Jackie. Oh, it's right in here. Oh my god, dude, get it out. Come on, come on. Oh, our tickets? Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. We're here. Look how beautiful. Look at that gold melon. Oh, look at that. What? What am I looking at? You're gonna have to. There we go. Yeah, they're still scanning a few people. You look amazing. I'm sweating like a hobo. But you were right, getting right. He's got like shoulder veins going on too, geez. And pedicab. Oh yeah. Okay. And that's hers and you got mine. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Hi, uh, where'd we go? So, camera is off right Yeah, yeah. All right. Yep, camera is going off right now. So, it's intermission and uh, what do you think so far? How much did you know about this before uh, coming into this? Um, I had kind of listened to the soundtrack. Okay. Um, but not this far in already, and there is some things that I just missed because it, I was not, you know, this is amazing. It's, yeah. It's a beautiful theater, and they're doing an amazing job. Yeah. No, th in fact, uh, let me uh, pause to show where we're sitting at. That's the back. We're down like 10 rows Holy from crap. the very top. Damn, this is a crazy theater. Uh, so a kid walking by asked uh, his date the same question that I was going to ask you. What's your favorite song so far? What's my favorite song so far? Yeah, from the play. Or what's the, at the halfway point, what's the highlight for you? Like, because it's funny? Or, or just your favorite thing? <laughs> just answer a question. This is so hard because there is Or was a... there a song that... Oh my God, Skippy, shut up. Just let her answer. Oh my God. That stood out to you? Really, really funny. The Light Switch song, I have to say, is like super funny, but at the same time, like... The which song? The turn it off like the light switch. Oh, turn it off like the light switch, yeah. Because um, I was literally told that when I was a kid when I cried. So my dad didn't like kids crying. And it kind of like mind fucked me a little and bit. I never, crying. And so, I had never heard that from my family, so. No, no, it's not. I don't but think. But do you think that's like a Mormon thing? I think that's a traditionalist thing. 
Not just Mormons say that. Turn it off. The turn it off. Thing. No, I think you oh, can, that look, can span across You can buy. Uh, I'm looking at uh, people near us that are drinking. My God, dude! Like in the middle of a thought, just starts like cutting her off. Beer, and so you can actually get a beer here. I could. I don't know how long. Damn, he's not. He wasn't monetized, and he's close to ten thousand subscribers. Holy crap! How much has YouTube changed? Totally do. You only need a thousand. Here. All right, we've reached the halfway point. We got one more video to go, and it's Data Mormons Part Two. So let's see how this thing goes. Uh, but specifically, the song I believe was the song that I had listened to the most. You said that I was into it way more than. Then I thought that. Then I thought that of someone who was Mormon would be. And why is that? Why is it like a, it's a parody of Mormonism? Is that what Book of Mormon is, right? I, I, I don't know anything about the play, to be honest. Um, do you remember which way we came in? Uh, yeah, well we took the elevator up and then that's the outway uh, down there that everyone's crowded. Oh, it's through. just crowded. Yeah. Yeah. So, there's our fellow concert goers. Oh, uh, by the way, you have to be going soon, is that right? You, uh -oh. your, like, your wrap up time is. I was actually gonna, I was gonna make a proposition, um, well, I was gonna propose to you. Oh, okay. My aunt, Another I do. Brother, this guy stinks! Oh my god, I knew he was gonna say that. I, I freaking knew it, dude. I knew it. Ooh. If you wanted I like this to, sound. if you wanted to, like, meet up um, and have me for longer than, like, 20 minutes. I absolutely do. Then more like an hour and a half. Maybe, like, I absolutely on, do. And then talk about it then after we've thought about it. Okay. Maybe, like, we can even, like, maybe have a little dialogue about what we want to talk about. She talks so weird. She's trying to talk so professional, and it's kind of weirding me. I, I don't know. Maybe not weirding me out, but it's unusual. I don't know. I don't know many people that talk like that just outside of business. Sure. Sure. Because I feel like there's lots of process after something like this, and it's not like... She really wants to talk about is, like, faith in Mormonism. Like, really wants to get to the bottom of it. For me, I haven't heard all those songs. And I, thought I, you like heard the, I thought you had heard the soundtrack as well. I had heard... I thought I'd heard all of it, but I definitely had not. We should get a view of how many people are here. Okay. It's like how romantic. Of all the people. Oh. Here. In fact, uh, flip around. We wanted a view of it, not with you, Skippy. Flip around. You we'll fuck. I wonder. I wonder if, uh, by showing these people, if it's, uh, can you get in trouble for showing people when, without their permission, when you're on? Possibly. Okay. You get, I mean, most of the, you can only certainly tell that it's them. Yeah. So, but there's the overview of the people that are, oops, uh, are still, uh, coming yeah. down. Yeah. It's coming down. We'll be able to go. Yeah, soon. I was just gonna see if you thought maybe we could. Yeah. So. Uh, so like, um, I'm so not do sure a what real wrap up. Thursday. Yeah. She's just trying to talk. He's trying to talk over her so bad. So do a real wrap like, up. Like an hour and a half. And like, yeah. I'll text you because. Yeah. Or you can text me some ideas. Because, because I actually wrote something down. I think it would be interesting to get uh, your perspective and my perspective because, like, yeah, the short version. <laughs> uh, current Mormon, former Mormon, our experiences, and so the majority of... I, I thought, because Skippy is a Mormon, Mormon. Like, yeah. you're, you're, are you a card-carrying Mormon? Uh, actually... Card-carrying Mormon, someone who has a current temple recommend. Yeah. I don't know what that means. I was, and by that she means, uh, I do wear the G's. The G... G... Armaments are special sacred underwear like clothing. Yep. What are those? So these are the the G's? They're like little... Is this it? Do you have any viewers that are Mormon or previous Mormon? 
is this it? This is what it is? So they wear these constantly? Is that a thing? I, again, I, I'm very ignorant to it. I have no idea. This is interesting, though. Yeah. I also classify you in my mind as a potential partner you're actively pursuing that the goal, goal. Yeah, the goal is that, yeah. And card yeah, carrying meaning that, the temple okay. recommend holding, yeah. And I was once a card carrying woman. Yeah. I once wore G's. Until the age of 23? Oh no, um, I was married at 19 and divorced. Well, She's married at 19, you gotta lock that down. Okay. Was your... Uh, we lived only together for a year and then it was a year before the divorce was real, so technically I was 22. Do you marry early? And Mormonism too, is that a thing? When you Yeah. Are you, how do you know me from? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Why'd you say that? Just say you know him from YouTube. No, through YouTube? Yep. No way, serious? Yep. Okay. What's your name? Colton. Colton. What's up? We're actually recording this, uh, this is Tracy, and we're recording this uh, to put on YouTube. Nice. Can I put you on uh, YouTube? Go for it. Is that okay? That's good. Alright, thanks Colton. Yep. Did you really recognize me or was that? <laughs> Did you really recognize me? Yeah, that's, it. that's awesome. He like doesn't believe it. Oh no, that just boosted his ego like through the fucking roof. He's not gonna stop. <laughs> they know you. Yep. They know you. Those people back there. Hopefully Colton gave uh, the okay on behalf of all of them, but yeah. <laughs> this woman that starts waving behind him like, oh shit, is that someone famous? So, fans. Have you gotten recognized at all uh, from being on the video? Like outside, kind of? I mean, people have been sending messages on the Instagram. Really? Positive or? Some guy called me from Australia the other day. And luckily this is like voicemail. He was saying. Called you? Yeah. How did you I get didn't your know. number? Because on Instagram I didn't know it was on my. Jeez, left her number, <laughs> her number's on her Instagram? Well, I went in for the off now. But yeah. Your number used to be My on... cell phone number was on Instagram. No way. I didn't know. I think it's when I just switched to a, a Apple phone from a oh, really wow. old Android. Oh, so. wow. Wow. Holy cow. I'm anyway, sorry about that. Oh, it's fine. Why are you sorry? Like, it's my account. It's yeah. Damn, she really didn't like him apologizing for her about that. But I just feel bad that if he found you through my thing, that that got to you through... Okay. 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 That's what will. Do. Well, I mean, you can tell she's a very like independent woman, so I, she probably doesn't like when he's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, people are contacting you," and she's like, "Why? I can deal with it. It's not your problem." With uh, part two of the video is going to be going into more detail uh, what we thought of the play mm -hmm. and what we individually think of religion and things and kind of our experiences because I think that there's a lot to be I I get that I think there's a lot of discussions that need to be had when yeah. they're with Mormons, non Mormons, whatever. And I haven't because talked it is, about it an, on my channel. And it'll be interesting to see how many people uh watch this how many people that watch this have seen uh the Book of Mormon musical uh -huh. and then how many people that haven't seen it can still follow along with just the basics, like either. They're trying so hard to have like a discussion about this. Holy crap! Or they know uh, bits and pieces without having to go into doctrinal kind of things. Um, let's get you home and uh, yeah. There's a merch table. If there's if there's something inexpensive at the merch table, let me get that for you. Like, <laughs> that's what every date wants to hear. If there's something inexpensive, I'll get it for you. Five dollars ish kind of thing. Well, let's go find out. <laughs> five dollars is his cap. Holy crap! What a gentleman. We could do the what a gentleman four pack of things and then divide up uh, the okay. uh, the buttons. Oh yeah, Skippy's gotta get his cut, so he bought some- <laughs> If he's gonna buy something, he's getting part of it. Oh my god, I dude. Man, okay. It's just little things like that. So, <laughs> yeah, so can uh, we get the- Yeah. No. 
Was it keychain magnet or anything else? Uh, no. Uh, okay. Not a problem. So be 15 total. This thing is really trippy. Yeah, it's. It's Not smooth, the but it's like. It's smooth, but it's jerky. Thank you very much. All Thank right. You. Yeah, have a good rest of your night. Thank you. So, this is what we just got. And then uh, let's go stand in front of the Book of Mormon thing. And then this will be the cover of it. Okay. Tired. <laughs> so These ones aren't bad though. I don't. I I believe in form and function. So uh, <laughs> it has to look good, but it also has to feel good. So you've been going all day, and then you're heading out camping tonight, right? Yeah, which is my getaway, so I can look at some stars. Want to cross this way? Which way? Half sure. Oh. How long are you going camping for? Just one night. Just one night? One night, one night. Right on. Uh oh. Not more than two nights. Is, are you going camping? Are you going camping with someone I know? Are you going camping with someone I know? Innocent question. That is not an innocent question. 3.1 seconds of silence. He was like actually kept track of it. That's kind of uh, questionable. You're, Why? Nice. It's none of your business. She's right. Yeah, it's none of her. It's none of his business. Nice. So. So would you just make an assumption that that statement you made is true? Yes. When you say it like that, otherwise, like I think it's a, uh, but it's a known tell. You never answer my question. When people do. <laughs> you never answer my question. No, he never does. It's a it's a tell you though. Did it again. Yes, yes. You didn't answer. You said so yes. You do think it is someone? Yes. Okay. Yes. Just say that. Just answer me. Yes, uh, but I appreciate. Uh, that. But I think that I think that how I'm answering it is giving it away. Of uh, like yeah, it's a tell. When. When what? what? When I did what? When I ask, is it someone I know? And. You him and ha, then I think it's him a and ha. Like, what was the him and ha? What? How? How is I said, is it? I said, is it someone I know? And then you go, Skippy, you shouldn't. Oh, because uh, I paused. Yeah. yeah. He doesn't even remember what she said because he wasn't listening. Like, oh my god, so, he's so bad. Like, I feel like I know who it is, and that's so cool. Who do you think it is? <laughs> Would you tell me if I'm right? And then he kept track of this too. 3.6 seconds of silence, yet she says, I'm the one that avoids the question. Dude, you're asking her things you shouldn't be asking. It's not your business. Y'all aren't on a date as like lovers or like with an interest, or well, you're, you're interested in her, but she's not interested in you. Like, it doesn't freaking matter, dude. You're okay. just friends, pals, buddies. <laughs> okay. Well, I think it's a musician, um, a bald, muscly one. Oh, no, not him. Oh, it's not him? And yet, I know the guy. Huh? Hmm. You know a lot of guys, and apparently you know Reba McIntyre. I know Reba music, and why do you say that? Because... You texted it to me. Yeah, because... You texted uh, a quote from Reba McIntyre. Yeah, because you had said something what? to me about fancy... Uh, about how you're going to get dressed up fancy. Oh, yeah? And I replied back, Here's your one chance fancy, don't let me down. What? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. We are so goddamn lucky. We are. We were so lucky the whole night. It's been a great night. Tracy, and by the way, I hope you know that I'm teasing you with it. I don't care that you have another date. Oh, he cares. He cares a lot. That was an indicator that he absolutely cares. After this? I genuinely don't. <laughs> the break in his... I genuinely don't. It was like he was like about to start crying. <laughs> like, I'm super thrilled. It's a small lie. It's an obvious lie, bud. A date. Big bud. You're absolutely Buddy. gorgeous. And you were my date to this tonight. <laughs> but you were mine first. Mine. You're mine. You're awesome as can be. 
we're gonna hang out again to finish the talking about it. Rehash some of this. Yeah. Performance. Yeah. Basically, you're going to be my prisoner for another evening. Uh, go in depth more of our thoughts of the play. Okay. And see, I think that you ought to hold this so that it's not me that's uh, trying to balance it. But you look so pretty. Holy cow. Oh my god, what? Why? Why Why does she have to hold the camera, though? It's your freaking video, dude. And I don't know if I was going to... I think I was going to say this to the camera when you weren't here, but the fact that you're not... Well, I'm here is the fact that you're not wearing a bra... What? Why would you say... What? Why would you point that out? What? Uh, oh my lord. Is that something you want someone to say to you? Ladies out there, if a guy or another girl, whoever you're seeing, is like, says that to you, is that like, okay? That's kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I'd ever say that to someone on a date. That's been so sexy Hashtag tonight. Free ah! the nipple. Free the nipple. And Ladies, I think, and I think that I, free the nipple. and I think that I've done a very I good. A shout out to a girl on the phone. I mean, it's not a big deal. Like, obviously, it's not a big deal. No one cares. But it's like, why would you point it out, though? Like, why would you say anything about it? Like, ugh. oh my god. Sam, she's gonna be an attorney. Okay. She is. This is what I get because I have little tiny titties. Yeah. And oh god. Hashtag titty talk. Skippy, please. Come on. We don't need this right now. Please. Please. She Skippy's like about to get a fucking boner right now from the <laughs> from talking about boobs. This guy gets like amped up about it like a kiss. Like you can imagine what's going on now that they're talking about women's breasts. Either, and so if you want to get either perspective, I have both. Well, and I think that I've done a very good job of not staring or. Oh my god! You want to freaking? Oh, dude! What the? F what you want a compliment you uh, you want ass pats for for not staring at her breasts all night dude oh my god what is wrong with you looking that way noticing sure i noticed ah. but didn't make a big deal of it until now why would you make a big deal of it it's not a big deal it is absolutely not a big deal oh like wow dude i've i've oh i'm like my date tonight. i'm not gonna lie i was Hoping for. I got like chills down my spine. This really is like right bothering now, me. Even uh, saying that, but I. Gosh darn it! I adore you. Like, Ugh, dude, this is so cringy. This, this is so cringy. So much fun. You were such a great date. I mean, please. I still can't believe that you paid for the things that you paid oh, for. Oh, please stop! Please stop! Please. And. What's that? Independent women do, but not every woman is an independent, awesome woman like you. So, oh yeah. my god. You're you're not like other girls. You, you This is awesome. You are, you are awesome. You are smitten with me, that's why you think that. Yeah, exactly. I yeah, that's a fair I point. I'm as smitten as you think I'm smitten. No, because you don't care about anything that she's actually interested in. You just care that she doesn't wear a bra and then she pays for, she pays for your shit. Because you hate paying for things, and that she's like objectively very attractive. Like that's all you care about. You care about all the surface level things. You you have zero in interest with her. You probably don't like camping. I don't see you as like she's obviously very fit and probably takes care of herself. I don't see you as someone who takes care of themselves. You probably don't like going on runs and like hiking and working out stuff like that. Just I can tell from you know your body composition and just like your personality. Like obviously you don't care about any of those things, and the way you talk about it is like very rudimentary level knowledge of it. Y'all have zero in common. Like she's very like independent, very outdoorsy, very artistic. I, I Skippy doesn't strike me as any of those things. He's just smitten and slash infatuated by the idea that she's like objectively very beautiful with you like i'm i'm 100 i'm 100 percent definitely in the category of smitten but i don't think i'm as smitten as you think I no am. i think you are perhaps perhaps spent spent enough to to say openly hey i noticed you're not wearing a bra but i didn't stare a lot is that cool is it am I, are you proud of me like shut up dude
That's true. I think that if I was as smitten as you think I am, that I would have been. This guy is a narcissist too. You can tell, like, he's got to be right about everything. More aggressive. Like, I played tonight really cool, didn't I? Like, have I been okay. up, have I been uptight about like, anything? No, yeah, you're totally cool, actually. Like, I wasn't. She probably just doesn't want to even have the conversation about it. Tight about anything that happened the entire night, right? Aside from bringing up the kisses, what that text said, yeah, and like you started stressing out about the time of the concert. I'm sure you did, is even though you said you wouldn't. You sound like that kind of person. And I wasn't like super anxious about anything. For, I, I don't know. I think job. everything that happened, kind of, uh, I let. I feel I did a really good job of letting the night happen. Ah, uh, oh, I don't I'm know, dude. I don't know about I'm that. On 400 West, not 300 West. Okay. And should we get? And should we get the shoes? Uh, when? Uh, should I get the shoes no, and shirt? Get them right now. Okay. I wasn't sure, or if we should wait until the next time so that you can get going on your thing. Should, should I reveal to you who I'm going? Oh I, no! Don't tease them like that. I'm definitely curious, but you don't have to. Or we can just reveal one. I'm not filming that with you. No, it's not on tape. Who or cares, dude? Permission. You don't need to know. Ask permission first. Ask permission. Is it Jack? Jared it's Jack. Jack. Jared Jack. Jack. Jared Jack Waters. Okay, there's a hop, there's a pause. So that makes me think that that could be it. See, he reads so much into everything, dude. Everything. He's a stud, by the way. That's if it's like a maniac, you're being a maniac right now. This is the kind of shit. That would you tell me no if it? Would you tell me no if it wasn't him? Dude, stop, man, God. Just drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Please. Okay. Like it's hot. Okay. 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 That's how you do it, baby. Okay. Anything so how do? So turned off by any of that weird shit, you guys can't do that. So how do we end? See, I, I feel like she's only going on these dates, these dates to train him. I feel like that's her whole goal in all this is to try and train him how to talk to like women. Tonight. We're coming out to get my shoes. It's not over yet. So don't True. get to the ending before you're living the present moment. Okay. God. I'm going to live in the now. Please God. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you're doing a good job, Skippy. She's so frustrated. Thanks. Okay. So I'm getting from her my shoes and shirt her and apartment so looks just the way i thought it would i asked her if i could use uh the restroom she said yes and then <laughs> skippy's gonna take a fat dump in her restroom uh by the way as i'm walking towards the bathroom we've got tracy originals on the walls we've got tracy prince on the walls <laughs> and then Oh, uh, where's the restroom? Which way? So, oh, it's like this way. Yeah, so what? It's organically grown, one and picture at a time. Organically grown, one picture at a time. It's themed. A themed, oh! Enjoy it. Oh, it's a, it's a Jesus restroom. What? Okay, <laughs> got the shoes and the shirt. See, she's got rollerblades, she's got a bike. Like, Skippy doesn't do any of this stuff. They have nothing in common. She doesn't even like his religion. She went away from it. She's clearly got problems with it. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna start. Hey, go. Bye. That was the quickest hug I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. Nailed it. Y'all hugged for half a second, dude. She literally has to run. She put on her tennis shoes so that she could run. And I am just going to walk and run. He's just stewing on everything. What a fun night. <sighs> That is one Yeah, but like you offer her nothing. Like he has nothing to offer, dude. Like I'm sorry, but 
He's got nothing to offer. For someone that does so much like her, like, it would just not be compatible. Okay. Well, thus ends the official date. And she said that we could call it a date. Yeah, but as friends, bro, don't, God, don't get hung up on that. It's as friends. Yeah, we still got six minutes. Is this six minutes of walking? So all that's left to do is go home and, oh, there she goes. There goes Tracy. Uh oh. The stalking. The stalking begins. I think that was Tracy. So Tracy is off to go on a date. Oh man, he's still stewing on it. With a mutual friend of ours. He's pissed, dude. He's actually mad. Good for her. She's gonna be my wing woman. Mine. And I'll have to definitely take her up on that of getting her to help me find a girl I spot a girl talking to a guy at his truck window uh oh uh oh Tracy oh my god please please it's me Skippy we just went on a date together oh my god I curiously investigate that's what the text says. Holy cow, it is Dave Iba. Oh my God. Dude. Ladies and gentlemen, we talked about him tonight earlier on the date. This is Dave Iba. <laughs> hey, how's it going, Skippy? <laughs> Man. Oh my God, this? no, no. Dude. And you guys met via uh, Instagram? Instagram, yeah. Wow. And she's like my neighbor, kind of. Is that right? I just live up by the Capitol. No kidding. Yeah. And you, it makes so much sense. You guys have so much stuff in common what, with all the jogging that you do. <laughs> with all the jogging that you do. See, this is what I'm talking. Oh my God, oh, dude, I can't believe this is happening. Why would... Kill Tracy, Tracy, you guys are a cute couple. Look at her just standing there like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Well, you totally have my blessing. I went in for... A this poor guy, dude. This guy's being so nice about it. I can't say I'd be the same way. This is so creepy. I'm not sure if she'll tell you this, so I'll tell it to you. And I'll tell it on camera. I went in for a kiss tonight uh, in the... His face just instantly changed. Look at it. Uh, in the elevator, right? Uh-huh. With the camera on. He's trying so hard to be nice. Dude, bless this man. Oh, my God. Uh, trying to be a gentleman. And, yeah. As the door was closing, camera was off, and... Uh, God, this is so bad. Rejected, but uh, also, it, it makes sense because she's already given me a let's just be friends talk. But uh, oh my so god, so is mystery guy going to tell me uh, who he is? But I'm, no, I'm totally happy for you guys. You guys make sense as a couple. Don't get me wrong. Now I'm not. We really did kiss. She. Oh my! Please, please. This is too much. And I kissed the one time. It was amazing. If you haven't kissed her yet. I can't. You'll, you'll definitely enjoy it. <laughs> Go for it. She's amazing. Oh, Aww. this is the... Now I'm rooting for you guys as a couple. Oh, my... Dude, this is the most cringy thing. This has to be one of the most cringy things I've ever seen in my life. I'm serious. I've seen a lot of cringy shit, and this is really bad. This is... I'm very bothered by this. I can barely watch this. Like, I feel embarrassed. And I should have been filming Tracy's face on that because... Uh... What an asshole. Okay. Well, Tracy, I will see you next time. Dave, have fun camping tonight. Uh, thanks for uh, letting me... Oh, is it okay that I film you and uh, put you in the... Oh my god, it's like the scene from The Office where Jim goes like, goes out with that one chick and Michael like awkwardly finds out about it. Oh my... Later. Good night. Good night, Jim. Come on, Michael. Where are you going? I don't know. Grab a drink, I think. With us? I, um, I probably should have told you I don't need a ride now because Jim can take me home after, so you're off oh, the hook. Okay, great. Off the hook. Okay. Excellent. Right. Okay, cool. I got this. All right. Have fun. Thank don't you. drink and drive. My gosh. Good for you guys. Man, I like this. I really like this. Aw. <laughs> this feels right. This, this Dude, feels really good please. Especially after uh, how rough 
I made things with the elevator. Holy cow. All right, uh, I'm gonna shut up and go. Uh, Please do that. Yeah. Give me a hug, man. I, I will. For a while. We went to UVU together. This guy's so nice. You know what? I got as good. I got as good of a hug tonight from Dave Iva as I did any day from any day. And Jack, I'm sure Jack Waters would also and, second that. And That's Vagor. What he, was. he kept saying Jack Waters. I was like, well, I guess someone else first, and I'm not going to say who the first person I guess was, and then uh, this hurts. Second, yes. was this really hurts. Uh, oh well, yeah. Yeah, and then. And then I guessed Jack, and I hadn't <laughs> guessed you only because the reason why I didn't guess you was because I didn't know how quickly you guys would have gone from uh, following on Facebook to... They like, met less than a week earlier. Sense. I mean, like, I know how athletic she is into running, and I know how you've gotten, and... I mean, like, uh, you know how, like, when you're in school and you're a sophomore, the seniors are, like, the class that you look up to and all the seniors <laughs> can do no wrong in your eyes? Please when leave. I was at UVU, this is way was, overstayed. Like, when I was a sophomore, Dave and Jack and Vagor were all seniors, and so I <laughs> looked up to these guys and admired them to no end. So and we did podcasts this, together? Yeah. Please leave. Okay, the newspaper stuff? Yeah. So, oh, this is awesome. Literally, I can see my car from right here. Or Yes, please go. Please go. That, please uh, go. Please. Right there. It's right there. So, yeah. Okay. Okay. No. No. So, I'm leaving. See you guys. Congrats to you, too. Oh. Dude, this... She, can you imagine the car ride conversation those two are going to have together? She's going to be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry that happened. Like, I'm glad we ended the night on finding out who... To help my dates... To help fund my dates? Are you serious? I am Skippy on Venmo and Cameo. Dude, what a the parasite. Was. Oh my gosh. What a I'm parasite. I didn't stop recording. Good for them. Every dollar Good helps. Good for freaking them. He's just seething. And of course, thanks to Tracy. And all of a sudden, there's my car right there. All of a sudden. <laughs> thanks for watching yeah. and subscribing. I really did try and kiss her in the elevator. It was awkward. Yeah, I'm sure it was, dude. I can't imagine a world where like that scenario made sense. I'm so done with this. This is this is horrible. Okay, I didn't expect that twist ending. That was like that was actually crazy. Like, who does that? Who he like stalked her down and then started harassing them. It, to me, it was like harassing. Like he wouldn't leave them alone and just like that was so painful, dude. That was I'm still feel like gross from that. I still feel like really gross and really embarrassed. That was awful to watch. That was like genuinely awful to watch. Ugh. Anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed that video. I know it's a little different than the Amberlynn Reed stuff, but I gotta branch out. I can't be only cover our girl. There's other, there's other interesting people out there that actually do interesting things. On a side note, I shouldn't be traveling this next month in September, so hopefully I'll get back to my regular upload schedule of at least doing a video like every three to four days. So we'll show, we should get back some normalcy after that. Uh, again, thank you to all my noble knights once again. Uh, for their support of the channel. And if you made it this far, thanks to everyone who watched the video. That's enough about me. Y'all stay safe out there. I'll see y'all in the next video.